much um, with inserting a picture in it as well. So I'm going to show you how to do this via your um, software on your computer. Wish you can download this um, for free at the moment via the TI Australia New Zealand website. So what you need to do is to log on to the TI website. So simply do a Google search for me, just go TI Australia and it will be the first option. So at the moment, as you can see up here on my screen, um, we actually, they offer a free six months um, subscription for teacher and students. All you need to do is just press the download button and it should download into um, your computer and your software will look very similar to the one that I'm using today for this tutorial. So that's the first thing. So um, what we're going to do now is um, we're going to learn how to create the notes page and learn how to insert an image that you can get from a Google search or you can basically extract this from your textbook. So what I would like you to do is do the usual. Um, simply just um, hit the home button and uh, it will look like this and you need to select option number six. Um, this is the notes application in orange here. So once you've done that, um, I'm just going to do it again here. Um, you should The window come up should look like this and it's very similar to your calculator page. Um, the only difference is that if you look at the top um, uh, line up here, it should be in yellow. And so therefore you know that you are actually in a notes page. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, insert an image um, of a cylinder and we're going to uh, create a template to work out the surface area and the volume of your cylinder where just like um, in other tutorials you can save it in your folder and you can call it back up um, whenever you need all you have to do is just do a quick edit and um, that should calculate um, the problems for you reasonably fast. So let's just put a heading first so I'm just going to type as my it's about cylinders today so with the text, um, when you use the software, um, it's very easy. It's just like your computer. You can change the font size, like what I'm doing. You can bold it, and you can even change the color just by hitting right click. So let's go to number six, where it says color, text color. Let's make it red. So hit enter. So you need to change it back to the normal size, though. So I'm just going to unbold, and I will change my color back to, say. Blue. Okay, so um, we're going to cr uh, trying to insert an image today. So um, what I did here, I just um, opened up our ebook, and uh, I will use snippet tool, or you just basically crop it. So I'm going to take the image right here. And I'll do the net as well. So once you've done that, um, it depends on where you save your images. My, my computer just by default will be on my desktop. So you just click on your notes page anywhere. I would like you to go up here and press insert. Scroll down to where it says image. And we will, it's, um, it's in my, on my desktop. So I will select the picture of my cylinder. Open and basically it should copy for you. You can resize this as well so by making it smaller or larger. So I'm going to place it here and I will do the same thing. So we're going to insert um, the picture of the net as well. It's a little bit too big so let's make that a little bit smaller. You find that when you first do it, it's a bit fiddly, but um, once you're used to it, it should be nice and quick. Okay, that'll do. So um, I will going to show you how to do the, um, the surface area first. So by just put a little subheading, surface area. 
So see, so far I haven't. Um, I just I just use this notes page as like a normal Word document, and you're free to type anything you want, and you're free to insert any images in if you want. So, however, though, if you would like to um, uh, create a sort of like a um, a calculations instruction or um, a set of rules, um, everything needs to be typed or needs to be written. Um, inside what we call a math box. So with regards to my surface area, I'm going to type the general rule inside the math box. And in order for you to do that, just go <coughs> control and the letter M and the math box should come up and looks like this. So with regards to surface area, as you've learned in class, um, we're just gonna call this a surface area. It involves the radius of your cylinder and involves the height. So I tend to type surface area, open my bracket, I'm going to state the two variables that's, um, that contains in my shape. So in our case is the radius and the height and I will assign this as per its rule. So um, for this tutorial we were just going to use the full blown surface area of a cylinder where it is closed on both ends. So. Let's um, type in the area of the curved, um, the area of the curved section. So two pi r multiplied by the height, and then we're going to plus the circular top and the circular bottom, meaning two lots of circles, meaning two lots of two pi r squared. So that looks all done, hit enter for me. So the calculator will store this rule in for you. So um, once you've done that, now we are ready to do the calculations of this given cylinder above here. So um, since um, we assign it for it to be surface area in terms of the radius and in terms of the height, so in your second math box here, when you do the calculation for me, just type SA again or later I'm going to show you how to use the variable button which you can call SA out without having to type it. So I just type SA and I'm just going to state the value of my radius as per the above diagram. So it's 5 meters and the length is 25 meters. Now if I'm just going to press enter now, um, the calculator will spit out an exact answer for me. So the surface area of this cylinder will going to be 300 pi meters square. If you would like to um, express this answer in decimals, um, all you got to do is you can go back to your math box the, where you do the calculations. Um, you just hit um, the cursor at the end of the bracket where it flashes where I am at the moment. And instead of just hit enter, we go control, enter and it will convert it into a decimal answer there. So that's my surface area. So you're welcome to, you know, be creative when you reconstruct this. You might like to um, uh, write a little template for surface area when one end is open, or maybe um, write another template to calculate the surface area of just the curved section only, meaning, you know, it opens on both ends, meaning we're talking about like a tunnel, that kind of thing. Um, so that's up to you. So let's move along to um, writing the template for volume of your cylinder. So um, just like a Word document, as I said, I'm not in a math box at the moment, so I'm just going to free to type because I'm not doing any calculation. I'm just putting a subheading. So I'm just going to little subheading as my volume now. And now I will need to call out my math box. And then I'm just going to go vol for volume, or you just go V only. But I normally um, give them at least two letter names. So volume of my cylinder, again, it involves R and H. And I'm just going to assign this. So assign, um, in case you miss uh, what I said before, control template button, or this little um symbol here, I call this as colon equal. Colon equal simply means the assign symbol. So volume simply equals to what? The cross-sectional area of your cylinder, meaning it is pi r squared multiplied by the height of your cylinder, h. Hit enter and um, so the calculator stored, this is a general formula for the volume of your cylinder. So we're now ready to do the calculation and remember 
needs to be done inside this math box. So instead of typing VOL for volume and then um, typing in the radius and the height, um, what I'll do is I'm just going to use my variable button and I will select volume without having to type it. So my radius is 5 meters and my height is 25. Hit enter for me. Again, same thing outputs an exact answer as 625 pi meters cubed. If you would like to convert this as a decimal, hit control, enter, and it will change to an approximate answer. So that's nice and straightforward there. So um, I think um, that's pretty much all um, that we're going to cover in this tutorial. So now's your turn to create your own templates um, in a notes page. So um, if you don't have the software on your computer, you can just basically ignore this, you know, inserting an image. Just go straight to, you know, putting the little subheading, surface area, and then type in the rule, and then don't forget to assign the variables. And then move on to uh, put another subheading for volume, type in the general rule, and obviously do the calculations. And that's pretty much all of this tutorial. Thank you.